Let's go through here. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> so I still have a frog caught in my throat. <clears> throat> uh, now that I'm going to be talking, because obviously I'm streaming. <clears throat> well, it's going to get much worse. So, I've got a slight stomach ache, and that's because I keep eating too much uh, spicy buffalo wings. You know, because they're really good and they're really cheap from Target, so I just make them in the oven. I have like two or three pieces, and it's more than enough to upset my stomach. But I think that's because it's having problems with the stevia, too. So, always, always fun. Yeah, not surprising. This this fucking mighty party shit. Every time I roll this specific an opponent called a Jimmy, right? Because that's a different warlord type. Uh, it's it's basically like a near a hundred percent chance to fucking lose, and I just fucking hate it so much. It's such bullshit. You know, because I because I actually want to just keep hitting the play button to fill up my chests for the next two hours, but obviously it's gonna take like a, like forever. Especially with the stupid ranked matchmaking that we have. So anyway, uh, let's take a look. Uh, tomorrow's release day for the game, and I actually did make some changes and improvements yesterday. Oh, that's right. Today I want to work on... Because I want to do a couple... Because my mind is starting to wander a lot, because I'm almost done with the stupid landscape U Udemy course. But I just want to try to get a couple more videos done, and then start work on... Like, there's a slight bug where, of course, this fucking shit game. Of course, there's this bug where, you know, you see the spinning reticle on uh, on the loading screen when you join the server. So, I, it's, it's, it'll probably be an easy fix. I just have to actually fix it. So, yeah, lovely. So, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so it turns out that St. Nick's going to have a... Actually, I want to leave it as the open project for now. I don't want the resources to get stuck. Of course, I fucking lose. It's a fucking rank 30 game, too. Like, the, 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 this rigged matchmaking is so fucking frustrating. So, yeah. So anyway, he's going to have some protests going on in New York. I think it's going to be in New York City. I mean, that would be ideal for me. But I, uh, I don't know. Why the hell does she have zero attack? This this fucking game. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Hmm. Uh, do that. Yeah. So. So anyway, I'm definitely gonna go to at least one of them, and then I asked. Oh, actually, I'll just leave that. I asked a friend that you all know if he wants to drop by. And then we could go together and stuff, you know, to help them save some money. Uh, but I'll leave it at that. So, but yeah, definitely, I'm definitely going to go to try, try to go to one of these protests. It would be kind of nice to get out a bit, you know, be among like-minded people. And I still need to finish watching a little bit of Jesse Lee Peterson's show from today, but... Are you fucking kidding me? But, uh, what you call it? Mm, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I was watching parts of Jesse Lee Peterson's show, and he had actually like a Korean guy for a guest, and he was talking about like you know conservatives needing to get into arts and culture and stuff, and actually start making stuff, which I of course a hundred percent agree with. So I was just thinking about that before I had to turn the stream on, and yeah, I just I just really think that the real problem is. Even today, like, most conservatives just don't actually understand what art really is. Like, they're just, com they're just, they just completely, I have said this before many times, but they completely have forfeited the entire space to the liberals. All right? Notice that a lot of things that conservatives say can get banned, but what they, w but guess what they know, but what's telling is what they will not ban, right? You know, conservatives can talk all the crap they want about, you know, Hollywood or video games, but that's not banned. Why? Because that actually keeps conservatives weak, because that's actually what makes liberals very strong. Great, this stupid fucking game is going to take like 50 years to resolve. I really hate these stupid shit matches. So, yeah, lovely. 
So, so I was thinking about that, and yeah, there's a reason why because it keeps you know it keeps conservatives out of the space, right? Because 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 what because what is it that the stupid Q would always state, right? You know, never interrupt your enemy when they're making a mistake or something, which I know they stole from because I know that comes from like Sun Tzu or something. So that's exactly what this is. Conservatives make a lot of mistakes, and one and one of one of many of them is. It's constantly these jimmies. They they make these uh, they make these like stupid assumptions and thoughts, and then it actually hamstrings them. Just like you know how like conservatives always like to make fun of liberals for shooting themselves in the foot. Conservatives do actually do the exact same thing with everything else. In fact, it's even worse. Yeah, of course I instantly lose. This fucking game is like fucking rigging everything. So. Yeah, so I was just thinking more about that, but yeah, I mean that's why we're ma I'm making my game. You know, Beardson's making his game. Saint Nick's got his uh, his platform is really nice. Uh, King Yoba's got his own little thing, mm, and I'm sure other people will be stepping up to the plate too. So, <clears throat> so the younger generation definitely will not be retarded, but millennial. Older millennials and boomers, especially, uh, they're, basically they're a lost cause. But by the time they wake up, you know, it's obviously just that's going to take forever. So you know, we got to take initiative now. I put out a gab post, and actually it's on my Twitter too. Got to talk about the same thing too. It's like there's just no point in complaining. You got to take initiative and start making shit. Like the servers just don't like making stuff. They just like to complain. <sighs> what is this? Oh, it's a Oh, it's a brave ad. I've never seen those before. So, but yeah, that's that. So I really just haven't had any time at all to look at the markets. I just know that Binance Coin was going up. Bitcoin was under pressure. So let's just take a look real quick. All right. So Bitcoin searches for this week is still at historic all-time lows. Cryptos RS actually mentioned a different Google trend to keep track of, and that's buy Bitcoin instead of Bitcoin. So it has the same correlation as everything else. So this one's even lower at eight. So we're not so we're not even anywhere close to FOMO. We're still in like infant bull stages. That's how that's how much more room there is to go. <sighs> so on the one hand, I'm glad that I'm glad that oh wow, this stupid game actually made well I mean, a lot of me to win. So I'm glad that I guess that doesn't work. I'm glad that the bull run could very well last past December and even January, but again, that'll just be so. It's gonna be such a difficult call because, like, you know, Bitcoin's at you know 200 grand, 250 grand. It's like say December 1st. You know, where I'm, I'm gonna get. Uh, it's gonna be a. T it's gonna be a little nerve wracking, right? And then, you know, with that being said. If I look over here at these trends and they're still pretty low, I mean, there's really no point in dumping everything. But of course, that's such a large risk too, because you know that December and January is always, almost always a bad month for crypto. And that could be enough momentum to really crash everything. I don't know. But I mean, whenever the, whenever the normies, the regular people, you know, just don't care about something, there means there's, that means there's always plenty of room to go upwards. So definitely going to need to put on my big Jesus Christ hat and then just try to play it one day at a time because we're definitely going to need to do that. All right, so some surprising surprises here. So NASDAQ is up a lot, so Greg must be very happy about his tech call, which is makes me happy because if tech's going up, that means crypto should be going up. It does look like Bitcoin actually rebounded. Oh, this is good. So I'll explain why Mara's back up, and this can't be right. Mara and Rai were down a lot today, and they came all the way back up. Meanwhile, the dollar has crashed. Okay, I don't care about Coinbase. Wow. Man, Mara is just so much better of an effing stock than stupid Riot blockchain. Man, I really wish that I wound up buying stupid fucking Mara instead of idiot riot because riot's like such a shit stock yeah now you say it's a bearish pattern 
I mean, not that I ever use this indicator, but a lot of people probably use it and then they trade accordingly, which makes it much more annoying to deal with. Uh, yeah, see, Bitcoin came back to 57K. We'll check it in just a second. And Riot barely scratches like 13 cents. It's like such a worthless, manipulated piece of shit garbage stock. And it cannot get out of it. Otherwise, if I do, I lose like 90%. So I lose like $50,000 or something like that. So I still have to keep holding the stupid shit stock. Like, in fact, if Bitcoin's 250 grand, what's the price of Riot going to be? Like 40 bucks? Like something freaking worthless? Meanwhile, Mar will be like, you know, $1,000. Well, more realistically, like $300. I'm just going to be so freaking mad about that. Yeah, I'm never gonna. I never want to fucking touch stocks ever again, except the S and P 500 uh, spider index calls, because that's the only thing that's reliable, and you, you just cannot manipulate it, because you just cannot manipulate a trillion dollar trade volume. Like you know, J P Morgan is not gonna go that crazy, you know, that are in the big banks. All right, let's see. Aftermarket, like this, this fucking company is such fucking trash. Bitcoin earlier they are falling. Uh, take shape here. So what do, 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 do. let's see. Did Mara release something? Because this thing is unusually way stronger. Okay. Yeah, Riot just sucks, man. Fucking shit stock. All right. Let's see. Bonds are mixed. Some of them got bought, especially the long-term debt. Okay, I'm very good with that. I don't know, I think China's just saber rattling with with Taiwan. So Alright, what did crypto do today? Let's see. Alright, so Bitcoin has come back. That's very good. Fifty seven grand. Healthy. I know Binance coin was popping off and it's still holding on to their gains. Very good. Cardano, Ethereum are doing okay. So for the most part, yeah, polka dots spiking. All right, so it looks like the dumping is more or less over and accumulation has begun yet again. So very, very good. I like that. Even VeChain's doing pretty well. Pancake swaps back at basically 20 bucks. Yeah, Shiba's doing all right. So this is actually good. This is actually really good. Let's see, is there anything here? Okay, Estonia is G word. Okay, BlackRock chairman more in the Jamie Dimon camp on Bitcoin praises crypto. What? How can you how can you crap on Bitcoin but praise cryptocurrency? What? U.S. dominates global Bitcoin hash rate distribution after China crap. Yeah, I tweeted that out earlier because now as of July, America has 35.4 percent of the world's mining hash rate, which is probably now higher. Uh, one year as Bitcoin slips below 55k. Yeah, see Bitcoin search interest. Yeah, so even Coin Telegraph has added a headline about that. So yeah, this this bull run's got plenty of room to go. Plenty of room. Debut parachain auctions after governance vote. Oh, okay, maybe this maybe this polka dot governance thing is why polka dots popping off. Okay. Here, bigger program, the core war is true. Jerry more wealth on the internet says Morgan Creek Capital CEO. Yeah, I mean, I bear, I had nothing, right? I had 500 bucks and God. And then, you know, now I, now I have a fortune that I now enjoy. I should have more, but, you know, I still make mistakes when it comes to crypto stuff. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so for the most part, I don't actually see cryptos are us. So for the most part, I don't actually see anything wrong here. Let me just, I'm going to just quickly look at this. Cardano coin burn is coming soon. Okay, that's good. Mark it over. Cardano coin burning. US becomes the biggest miner. Yeah, we already know that. DeFi. According to DeFi Llama, the total value of DeFi has exceeded 200 billion, which has doubled since the end of June. Ethereum total value has dropped from 98% to 68.5. Next rank gains are Solana, Binance Chain, Terra, Avalanche, and Phantom. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, that's actually that's actually probably another reason why regulators and 
really the big banks are starting to try to crack down on crypto. I forgot who said it. I think it was George in an earlier video. I think it was him. But yeah, D crypto and DeFi is a gigantic threat. Yeah, it was George. Because why? Because A, you can get more percentage yield off of DeFi. Right now, in Beefy Finance, you're still... I think right now I can get 19% off of my dollar. Yeah, it's actually right here. It's 19%. Now, this is actually going down because more people, I guess, are piling in. All right? And that's why even the American government's starting to get kind of pissed because why would you buy a U.S. Treasury 10-year yield when you could just simply buy, you know, DeFi, right? Because remember what Greg Gold would always say, if this thing, if the 10-year yield, yield spikes out of control, that spells doom for the markets. So I think that's actually what the IMF and them are saying when they say financial instability. What they're, wor what they're really worried about is the U.S. dollar is going to go to crap, 10-year yields will go up because cryptocurrencies already offers you risk-free, you know, 10% yields or 20% yields. Right? And once the entire world finds out about something like that, you know, the stock markets crash. Like everything goes to shit. All right? And then True America First will seize upon that opportunity and say, you see, this entire system's corrupt. Look at all what the Democrats and, you know, even the Republicans and whatever has done to, done to all of us. It's time to overthrow them all. And people will go along with it because when the stock markets crash... Well, guess what? Your entire 401k goes to complete turd, right? You know, people are not, people are starting to wake up and resist, but, you know, it's not enough yet. <clears throat> well, what happens if they lose everything in the stock markets? Well, now they have nothing to lose and now they're, and they're also going to be extremely angry. So there, so fear can be overpowered by anger. And that's exactly what the globalists are trying to avoid. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that. Okay. All right. So for the most part, things uh, look pretty good. I mean, I actually was expecting everything to be down because that's what it was this morning. But okay, it's pretty obvious. It's turning around right now. Fine. Good enough for me. Well, aim, um, Bitcoin 3x daily short. Ah, that's a derivative, which isn't supposed to exist. But <laughs> I would not want to buy that. Like, crypto is going straight up. All right, let's take a look here. I kind of want to maybe take a nap too, but I got just so much work to do. All right, so Bitcoin, I don't know if this is up to date yet because there's, oh, okay, well, it does have, yeah. I mean, a pullback in Bitcoin is obviously in order. Like this thing's already pretty high. It's way above the top blue line up here. Can't see it because of my stupid camera. Move them over here, so you can see that the blue—it's—it's it's already well above the blue line, so you know there's going to be a pullback at some point. I'm just hoping they'll race to 40, 64,000. I'll read your comment in just a second. I'm hoping it'll reach 64,000 and then do the pullback. That would be the ideal, because then it would just not be then there would be no uh, ambiguity, right? It'll be very clearly clear and obvious. Fear can be overpowered by anger. Yes, exactly. I didn't even think anyone was watching from D Live because you know because I because I quit D Live in disgust when they banned everyone. Not me, ironically enough. And it was Trovo that banned me and everyone. So now I'm back on D Live and still streaming on YouTube. Ah, but hopefully, uh, you know, everyone's doing well on D Live. All right, so Binance Coin is doing. These ad things must be brand new. So Binance Coin is doing extremely well. Low RSI, but this is probably before today's spike in price. So once this gets drawn, when the day is over, yeah, Binance Coin is definitely going back to 500 and going past it. So 550, 600 would be good. Probably no higher than 650 or 700 for sure. But that works for me. You know, that means my daily DeFi income from Binance Coin slash Binapet. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be really really nice okay all right so like i said you know i got a lot of work to do i want to do some more coding the game is releasing tomorrow i'm pretty sure i'll be able to fix that slight bug with the constant spinning wheel loading display because i have to turn that off it should only appear 
when you actually have a loading screen. So I gotta find out why it's doing that. Because the other, because the other spinning thing works fine. So, all right. So markets look. What is this? Wendy's fry guarantee, hot crispy, or get new ones? Hmm. Yeah, of all the fast food joints, if I had to pick one fast food joint for the rest of my life, it, it would definitely be Wendy's. Uh, then the next second choice is a tough one because I usually like Burger King, but McDonald's is not bad either. But, I mean, Wendy's is probably the nicer of all the companies. At least they're the least woke. Or at least, they, at least they're least they not as aggressive as McDonald's or even Burger King. Because Burger King is very aggressive with being woke. So, but the only problem is there's like no Wendy's anywhere. If you actually search Brooklyn for a Wendy's, there's only like three or four. Right? And I, only, and I used to live near one of them when I was living with my parents. So, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't exactly uh, have choices here, man. Even though I live in America. We've got max.sweden. View page source. There's got to be a way I can copy this. Because it's going to open up in uh, Chrome. Uh, Korean barbecue. New, just new, or brand new, Grand Deluxe Korean Barbecue. That thing looks so effing good. What the hell? Wow. Sweden's got the goods, man. Oh, no. I might... I really need to avoid going to Burger King, because now I want burgers. Oh, those are good shakes. How are people not fat in Sweden with, good, with food like this? This is amazing. What's the best to get from Wendy's? I always get the Biggie Fries, because that's cheap. They give you, at least the, I think they call it Biggie Fries, or the largest ones, or they call it medium. But get, just ask for the largest size, it's like two bucks. Well, it used to be two bucks, now it's probably like ten dollars, due to inflation. And then I personally get a large chili, <clears throat> you know, so I'll feel full and get the uh, protein, and I get like two or three double stacks. I get a very economical meal. Uh, but the, but the Dave single, double, triples are also really good, but they're very expensive. So it really just depends. I, I never tried the Wendy's salad, but they're very good too. Like I always usually, if I have a salad, I usually get the cheap side salads, like the Caesar and the other one they call is the garden salad. Cause those are cheap, <clears throat> but like their main, their main big salads, they look pretty good too. So. But yeah, I always get the double stack. That's my favorite. Started in Lulea, North Sweden. Well, they definitely deserve all the success because... Oh yeah, there you go. The registered trade for, trademark for Max. Can I translate to English? No, I have to install the plugin. Alright, well, I'm just going to... I'm just going to ogle the, these pictures. Oh my god. I, I would buy everything here except the shakes because, you know... I'm, I, I've actually am deliberately not eating the ice cream in my freezer because it's giving me uh, yeah, bathroom problems. I'll leave it like that. Now let me see. If I can figure out what which one of these things say menu because that's obviously <clears throat> jobs. Many might be menu. <clears throat> so this looks like green vegetarian. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna click the vegetarian thing. That's a salad. That's a kind of burger. This is a regular burger. A cheeseburger, maybe? <clears throat> and then main course, maybe? Okay, let's click. These are very good pictures, by the way. Wow. All right, let's just pick the first one. You got the Korean barbecue burger. You got the Korean barbecue chicken sandwich. You got the Dagan's lunch 10 to 14. And they got a hollow email. They got a plant. Oh god, veggie burgers. You got a signature burger. You got the cheesy plant beef. Oh, grass fed beef. Oh yeah. See, I would get this one, the Grand Deluxe Double Burger. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta enjoy our hamburgers now because you know. Oh, you can't. Oh man, you couldn't see because I had to move the camera. Let me move it back. Yeah, see, I would get these double burgers. 
See, we have to enjoy these burgers now because you know that the, uh, you know, tribal globalist pieces of garbage are going to ban beef and meat. So now, you know, you know, because of cow farts or whatever. So, you know, we got we to gotta enjoy real meat while, while it lasts before they get banned. Their original dip sauce is the best. Oh, they come with a dip sauce. Oh, my God. How much is this, by the way? I'm sure that I'm sure it'll at least say euros. Uh, oh my god, this looks so good. I would probably take that's regular crispy. Fr I don't want sweet potato fries. Let's please Besme. All right, let's try this. Oh yeah, they definitely brought in the good dips here. Wow. Ugh. Yeah, I would gladly pay six, seven euros for something like this. I don't, I don't know what it costs in Sweden because obviously it will be different for you know wherever you go. Hmm. Where is Max located? Because Max is a pretty. There are 130 max locations right now, and you will find most of them in Sweden, but there are also in Denmark, Norway, and as far away as Egypt. The country started out in the town of Galavir, way up north above the Arctic Circle. Hmm. Oh, they, well, duh, they have an English, they have an English website. Well, that's helpful. Climate positive burger. Oh, come on. I should have stuck to just reading Swedish, because then I wouldn't have read that. Damn, that thing looks so good. I would be shocked if this was synthetic fake beef, because because it fooled me. It completely fooled me. But this cannot possibly be synthetic meat. This the it looks way too good and juicy and real realistic look looking. Let's see. All right, well there's Sweden, home of Forsen. Which I think right now he's trying to... What is he actually doing right now? Oh, no, I want the Twitch. What game is he playing? He is playing... I, I like how this isn't working. He is playing Alan Wake Remastered. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. Okay, a lot of max. Is there a minus button here? Yes. <clears throat> Well, I certainly hope that these guys have a European Union trademark. Because I was actually researching... What do they call themselves? Super Mac versus McDonald's. Because Super Mac, you know, is closely related to Big Mac. And they both sell burgers. So I was re researching the trademarks on that. Uh, haha, great a burger. Yes. Yeah, I really want a burger now, but... I'm gonna watch what I eat too. Yeah, that's why they have hollow umi burgers. Oh, so that's what they call their veggie burgers. It did, to be frank, they look they look like real burgers too. It's probably high on sodium though, because that's always the price you pay for <clears throat> for veggie burgers. They put a lot of salt and sodium on that. It's not very uh, it's not very good. Man, I'm missing out, man. America, I have to admit, America sucks, man. We have all this dog crap. It's like, you know, I, I, I want, I want what the Europeans get to enjoy. I mean, the problem is Europeans pay like 50, 60 percent in taxes, but America is basically the same shit now too. But we, we have all the downsides of Europe, but none of the benefits. So we might as well just become European again. And then the American Revolution was like totally useless. Ah. <sighs> They used to burn down the McDonald's in Sweden when McDonald's tried to establish in the north. Are you serious? I, did it? Did that actually work? McDonald's burned Sweden. <clears throat> animal rights activists claim McDonald's firebomb responsibility. Well, this thing is an animal rights thing. McDonald's manager was wearing in a gang. Worked at the burn down McDonald's. What the? F what the hell? There's 
There's a gang war at a burned down McDonald's targeting McDonald's? Are you serious? This is this obviously has to be fake news. Was murdered in a gang shooting. Ten to eight in the evening in the middle of the police are about shooting. Okay, a surgeon he later died in the hospital. Oh, okay. He was a he was a bystander in a gang shooting. How does Sweden have gang shootings unless it's coming from Oh yeah, it's banned in uh, I can't say the words. Oh, it's just coming from their vibrant immigrants. Let's say, I think I can say that. Their recent arrivals. Uh, then who was there? It was only released a few days earlier after being arrested for serious drug smuggling. Oh, okay, so well, there you go. The revolving door policy. Okay, worked the barrel. Okay, after shooting, the police attacked the Osberg network. Coin Express, and well, that doesn't sound like an immigrant network. Sounds more like a native Sweden gang thing. An internal commentary brought to the murder. These people were three people were but released. Oh, okay. So they have it. Oh, see, if I were in charge, I wouldn't release any of these motherfuckers. I would just simply put them all in jail, and then they have to like produce good evidence, solid, irrefutable evidence, pointing me to the real bad people, and then force them to snitch. And if they all refuse, well, they can rot in prison forever. Uh, then, of course, we'll look at it. Police are now the fuck. Huh. Wow, this seems to be a common thing. <laughs> well, I think this is more of a problem specifically in Sweden rather than targeting McDonald's specifically. I know an arson was burned down. Yeah, there was. There's not. Would you like bullets with that? Swedish gangsters unload. Oh, they were targeting the McDonald. What? Oh, they are targeting McDonald's, but this seems like a very recent thing. Well, this guy's hardly wearing any body armor. Uh, okay, wow, look at all that increase in violence. Well, if Sweden's like anything uh, like America, Sweden will eventually wake up and return to God, even though they're a completely atheist country. Bombing capital of Europe with 257 bomb attacks reported in 2019, up 60% from the year before. It's rising right wing places the blame on the wave of immigrants welcoming the country in the past decade. Well, I mean, that's actually part of it, but now that I've been listening to Jesse Lee Pierce, and I know that fundamentally the real problem is Sweden is atheist. That's really the fundamental problem. That's ultimately always the problem. People are just disconnected from God, and then they go around shooting up McDonald's because why not, right? It's good sport. And they don't care. The, the gangsters won't care if they kill anyone. Well, like, maybe they care, but not. They don't care enough to, you know, not take the time to be. Hey, we're gonna shoot up the McDonald's that you're working with our AK forty sevens. Can you want to move out of the way? Okay, thanks. And then they unload. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's not quite. It's not quite cozy and nice and. Eloquent and organized like that, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, a crime review by Dagan's Nyheter said that first or second generation immigrants were behind 90% of the country shootings. Wow, that's a pretty staggering amount. Also, I thought it was illegal in Sweden to report on something like that. Well, I guess, uh, well, I guess people, someone is resisting over there. That's, that's good. Uh, oh yes, we've got Somali gangs and mixed stuff, all of it. Ah, I thought I thought Sweden was welcoming Muslim refugees from the Middle East. Somalia's in Africa, right? I mean, damn. Well, I don't know. Sweden definitely sounds like a giant mess, but America's not that much better. You know, we our version of it is our southern border with a piece of shit fake Republican go Texas governor Greg Abbott, who who <clears throat> who just who's actually controlled opposition as well. Like, he did okay, he did good with, the, like, the abortion stuff, right, by, you know, like, attacking abortion, but <clears throat> unfortunately, conservatives now think he's, like, God or something. Well, not God, but, like, you know, he's, like, up there with Trump or whatever, and that's, nothing could be further from the truth. He's controlled opposition. It's just, it's just so frustrating. 
But, you know, my Gab tweet about that, calling out Fox News and the Republican Party as being controlled opposition, I think got a surprisingly large amount of engagement. It's not like, I think it's my most popular tweet ever on Gab. It's like, what, 1,500 likes and, I don't know, several hundred of the other things, right? Yeah, of course, some comments, but how... It was actually very interesting. Half the comment, no, about 40% of my comments were, yes, you're right. We got to return to God and forgive our parents and honor them. Or I'm just paraphrasing. The other 60% either questioned it outright, denied it outright, and specifically was like, why do I need to forgive my parents for it? And I'm just like, the, 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 like this, is why, this is why we're in trouble. This is why we're in trouble. Everyone's di well, too many people are disconnected from God and they hate their mom and dad. Right? Same as me. The only difference is, difference between all of you, is that, you know, we we overcame that, right? Now we're in the process of going back to God. And that's why we're going to win. Eventually. Perfectly sooner rather than later. So, that was an interesting little segue, right? We started with Wendy's and then we went straight into Sweden's Max Burgers. But yeah, if I ever am crazy enough to visit Sweden, home of Forsen, yeah, I'm definitely gonna check out Max, right? Like those burgers looked so freaking good. Like I'm, I was actually shocked. It's like we don't have anything like that here in America. We have, we have dog shit looking burgers that I personally enjoy because that's what I'm used to seeing and eating. Yeah. So now I decide I want a hamburger, but you know it's already five o'clock. But I, I don't know. I think, I think I got time. So, let me see. Uh, that's just one chest. So, all right. So, I'm going to go. So far, everything looks... Oh, I almost... I literally forgot. we got to check the MM. I really like this Manorino index. This thing is so good. 90.5. Yeah. So, it's all just bells and whistles at this point. Just keep enjoying. Keep buying. Keep, you know, farming your DeFi or whatever, right? Because I'm enjoying everything. Oh yeah, this, I have to admit, this is actually pretty funny, right? We got supply chain disruption, so we should ask the Mexican cartels to help us with that, because they obviously don't have a problem moving shit around. Yeah, but I mean, ultimately that will be up to the CIA to determine, and obviously they're going to say no. Cognitive dissonance, yeah. But, um, see, that's the thing, it's... I think cognitive dissonance might actually be a good thing. My god, this thing has dropped to 19%. Oh yeah, it is at 19%. Cognitive dissonance is a good thing because that basically means, you know, we got to, uh, it'll, it might make people think. Oh, Shiva. Well, Shiva's fine. I mean, it's not going up as much. Yeah, it's at 28.62 Satoshis of a dollar, uh, of a dollar, yeah. But this thing has gone straight up. It went from 680-something to five... I can't even do the math. Right now, it's basically 5x from its low. This thing has to be has to pull back and consolidate. And the simple fact that it's consolidating very well indicates to me that Shiva is going much, much higher. Like, right now, I'm in profit with Shiva, but there's no way in hell I'm selling that selling that. I'm leaving it in my Hotbit account to accumulate more Shiba coins off of the DeFi farm thing. I think it's the plan 10 reconciliation of op I have no idea what you're talking about there. I never heard of that. I don't know. All I know is God's in control. He's got all he's got it all figured out. I mean I can kind of see what God want, intends to do too. So I just gotta, you know, go through my day, get closer to God, and then, you know, let God deal with everything else that, you know, I can't stand dealing with. You know, and it'll be uh, it'll be good. But yeah, seeing that Korean guy on Jesse Lee Peterson's show today pushing the Genesis Council, he char he's charging ninety dollars a month to be part of his thing. I mean, I get he needs high quality men, but I mean, yeah, I'm I'm gonna spend that on my own art. <laughs> you know, that's actually that's actually like a, a concept art with like five characters from my Fiverr guy, like. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, you know, and I actually, and then Justin Peterson said he was also gonna speak at the 21 Men Conference in Orlando, Florida, and I looked it up on Google. It's in 10 days. They're charging two thousand dollars for a basic ticket. Uh, forget it. I just spent twenty seven hundred dollars last week, last Saturday, to file Dragonfly Studios 
you know, trademarks throughout the entire world. All right, I need my F, and I need to do that at least two more times, with maybe three more times. All right, I'm going to be dumping a lot of money. Then I got to pay my European lawyer to file other trademarks too. So you know, I need. I'm going to be spending at least ten thousand dollars, and that's not going to be enough. Yeah, the concept art. Actually, I can show you before I go. This is the concept art that the guy drew for me. The problem is, I need to. So now that I actually know how he works, okay, this is too big. Now that I know how he actually works, yeah, you can see it. Now that he knows how I, how this guy actually works, I have to actually also basically come up with the design for the uniforms because he basically just copied the navy uniform instead of doing his little thing. I mean, I guess I didn't give him too many good instructions either. So, but yeah, that's actually supposed to be me over there. That's supposed to be my girlfriend on the left. And they're in the standard U.S. Navy dress uniform, I think it's called. The patches are not supposed to be there, but obviously it's in the future and people are dumb. So we put the American flag patch. So when you look at it, you know who they are. And they're standing over. I told them to have them stand over a cliff looking out into like a wasteland of Earth, which is really Amer which is America. And then somewhere here he's going to put like some greenery life to represent that there's still some life left on the planet. So obviously it's just basically a, what is the word, analogy or amalgam of real life. So, yeah, and I'm going to set this to the main menu for Krutark Royale for a while until, you know, I get more stuff up and running. I really like it. I really like it. And it's going to have that really nice music, too, with the overworld theme for America. So I haven't heard anything, ba I haven't heard anything back from my music composer yet, so... But I know it'll be very good. You should do collage of mood pictures to set the scene. Yeah, I eventually, if, if it's what I think I'm, you're, what you're telling, if it's what, if I think what you're, what I think you're saying is, yeah, I do want something like that, but this, right now I just got started on everything. So this is the first concept art I have for Croutard Royale. I don't have anything else available yet. I've done lots of art animations for games. Do you take commissions? Actually, can you give me your art station or whatever your portfolio is, and I'll take a look later. Because I do actually need to get off, and then, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of really, I really want to, I'm really thinking about those, those I want to get some burgers from Burger King. You know, because I can't have Max, so i got to settle for Burger King. Well, actually, you said past tense, I've done. Maybe, see, so yeah, I guess you don't do that anymore. Oh yeah, that's right. I bought something from Amazon, like some more supplements. I totally forgot about it. So I gotta buzz the guy in. Okay, so let me. Gotta take. It's gonna take that guy. A little bit. Okay. Let me copy that. Let's take a look at your art. Hopefully, you don't have anything uh, pornographic though. anything pornographic on there because obviously we're streaming so I'll take a quick let me take a quick preview with the display turn up but let me just take one of my supplements here this one is called acetyl L carnitine stuff here like helps brain function for some reason NAC is no longer for sale on Amazon instead the search results come up with this crap but yeah, I just like drawings, perhaps. Yeah, let's see. Ah, so funny. Yeah. It'll be nice when I start, when I live in my giant ass home in Tampa, Florida. Can I at least be 1,200 to 1,600 square feet? That's like so much bigger than what I live in right now. It's like gigantic. Because yeah, I basically live in like. 
I basically live in like a crawl space, which is much better than what the Japanese have. No, is it Japan? No, I was thinking, yeah, Japan and Hong Kong, because they live in these micro apartments that are literally the size of a. What's that? A twin size bed. That's literally their their home. It's so cramped. It's so cramped. Quick. Okay, I can see that. Oh, that's animation. Illustration. Okay. Good game, Empire Eggs. Yeah. So that looks like a visual novel, which is funny because the guy that's infringing my trademarks in Greece is making a visual novel. Uh, it's really nice too. <coughs> this looks like a. And it looks like you get a lot of requests for cartoon style, because my style is actually realistic. Yeah, but cartoon, but but cartoon games probably make way more money. So that's probably why you get a lot more requests for cartoons. Uh, unless the site's lagging, there's nothing in the drawings page. I don't know. Let me make sure I turn off the volume for copyright reasons. Oh, that's actually really nice. This probably took you a while to make too. Especially these like dotted little things. I don't even know what the hell they're called. Let's see. I wonder what the name of that game is. Oh, see, this is really nice. This is probably. I'm trying to figure out what rendering thing you're using here. I mean, I always just want to say Unreal, but this could be anything. It could be Unity. My Sims. Oh, wow. So EA actually contracted you. That's actually really nice. Let's see, let me see if I can... Wait, what was the logo? It said My Sims. Is this a mobile game? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess this was Unreal Engine. I don't want to look at the answer yet. Let me see. My Sims Engine. What? Okay, that's My Sims. My Sims. What game engine? Well, I mean, most of. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Okay. Okay, so it looks like EA actually uses different game engines, or their own. Okay, so The Sims 4 apparently was built using a custom game engine. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's do Sim. It sounds like their own engine, so something internal to EA Mobile Game. It might be only the Fire Monkey game, such as Sims Free Play. Okay, so looks like my Sim is uses their own. I don't know, but if you're making, if you made this, all right, I'm gonna look at your thing. You made Ma you made it in Maya. I didn't know Maya did animation cinematics. I guess that actually makes sense. Oh, quarantine is good for burning fat. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it's also good for that. Which, I mean, the best way to lose fat and weight is just simply not eat like a pig, like I'm doing. Two hotel. Yeah, I did the watercolors Maya freelancing at an agency. It's a commercial. Uh, two hotel. Yeah, they have some crazy stuff here. Yeah, see, this is probably why you get paid, like, I think the average animator is, like, 120 grand or 130 grand a year. 
Yeah, I don't have that kind of money to hire someone to do that for me, so. I mean, even on Fiverr, it's pretty expensive. But yeah, this actually was, yeah, but that was actually really nice. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like uh, you do concept art. But, I mean, there's a lot of good concept artists on Fiverr that's actually relatively cheap, so. I don't know, have you ever considered just selling your services on Fiverr? I bet you would actually make some dough. Because you obviously know what you're doing, so. What did I want to search on Fiverr, actually? What did I want to search on Fiverr? I was talking about art. And I said animator. Yeah, animators are actually pretty. Unreal character animator. Uh, oh, great. Oh, okay, I was able to do that. Oh, the animation rig is included. Okay, they've got... Oh, that is a man, but I'm just going to skip over just in case. Wow, oh, she actually does cloth work too. A realistic character up to 4K, full body rig, basic cloth, basic hair. Uh, <clears throat> details on the body. Yeah, $700 and you get the full AAA uh, work. But she does do extremely good work though. Yeah, she's definitely got no problem uh, doing Coomer stuff. That's that's the only thing I don't. See, I still have to figure out what this means, but I'm, I know that the higher the number, the better it's going to look, and I think that has to do with the size of the textures. Cause four, I, I think 4K texture will be fine because the character details should be as high as it can be. Low to medium polygon count. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I already found my character artists. And the most they charge is I think three fifty or so. Photo realistic. Well, I probably don't want it that realistic. I'll create a photo of the character for. I'll model your 3D character texture and loads for Unity or prob or Unreal. This guy is new. Not too bad. The only problem is this creativity could be an issue. Which, of course, means I have to make sure I get the concept art right. So I always have to get the concept art first, and then I send it to someone like one of these character animators, so they have a reference point to work with. I will rig your Unreal Engine character inside the engine using Control Rig System. What the hell is that? Oh, well, I don't. Oh. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I already have some gig people who can do animation rigs, too. Just in case I need it. <clears throat> That's the Grand Theft Auto guy, or Max Payne, or whatever. 3D game character rig. I hope that she's off well, for 500 bucks. I hope she is also actually drawing the whole character. I will bring your concept to life in an Unreal and Okay, I don't know what that is. Also, that's a terrible looking picture to start with. <clears throat> if I'm looking, if I type in the word art, I want to see, like, you know, this, like art. I don't want to see whatever the hell that is. That just doesn't make sense. See, 
I bet this guy. I bet loses loses money because of that mistake. I'll make our your game. Yeah, no, obviously I know how to code. So I'll create a 3D model rigged with animations for your game. He only, he only does basic stuff. Gay quiet. I, I, I need someone that'll actually do the whole thing. I'm trying to see if I can find the ones that I that I have, whatever. But I probably typed in different words. See now, this is kind of insane. What did I, I type in? Character model. There was a different type of word that I used. Yeah, see, I did, I did bookmark this guy too. He doesn't charge too much. Problem is, he doesn't really have too many samples of realistic look. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. I mean, if I was if I had a, if I was limited on money, that guy would probably be pretty good. Oh, I know what I did. Color details. Yeah, that's what I did. I never want to be the guy that goes first on sites like this. I'll create a 3D game character. Oh yeah, I look at that. Okay, here you guys. It is. Yeah, I know I favorited this guy too. He's more of like general props and stuff. Mm. Let's see. Hey, what's going on here? Am I missing? Okay, because I recognize him. I'll create a great Sally 3D character for you. I might have to put that. Oh man, I hope the people that I bookmarked did not go inactive. Usually, you just want. Model and animate outside of Unreal, then you bring into the engine. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see the advantage of that. With the way my game is set up is I bought an Unreal Marketplace template, and it already has all the animations. So what I all all I really need is a good-looking character model with the F, uh, that has the Epic Games skeleton inside of it, and then all the animations are already built in because they're all tied to the Epic Games skeleton. And it's just very easy, you know, click, 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 and click. It's like just like three clicks or something. Okay. I know I really need to get off, but I'm I'm kind of obsessed with this now. Probably because I want to procrastinate. Character. What did I type in? Character animation. Unreal. Where is the really... I don't know if it's this guy. No, it's not this one.
Maybe it's this one? Oh, it's charging a reasonable price. Because it's all cartoony. See, I'm even getting the multiplayer Unreal stuff, and that's not what I want. Okay, I'm going to have to just cheat and just go into my five ring. <coughs> Otherwise, we'll be here all day. <clears throat> Artists, Unreal Engine multiplayer. I have 14 gigs in here. Oh, for some reason, I put in the things here. Yeah, the keyword I used was character modeling. Well, why the fuck weren't these guys showing up in my search results? Okay. This is the guy, I think. Because he had a really nice, insane looking ninja. Or is it this one? Okay, he might actually not... what? Okay, so... Wait, what? Oh, he stopped doing this now. Is he still on fiber? Damn, the guy I wanted to use is no longer on fiber when I because when I click his thing his his fucking gig doesn't show up anymore. Oh man, that means I'm gonna have to actually uh, that means I gotta I gotta do another search search for the guy again. So I have to I have to find for, I have been finding new character models now. Yeah, he did like crazy good work too. But yeah, someone like this might be okay. High risk going on with clean topology. Problem is I don't think he does colors. Because right now, this this is a pretty popular person that everyone's ordering from me. He, he's actually very affordable at 120 bucks. I mean, obviously, if I want to charge like people for skins, I still want like, a triple A. So that's why I'm willing to spend. That's why I'm willing to spend like 300 bucks for a character model, because I'm charging people like 20, 25 dollars for the skin. Right? That's only like. At 25 bucks, that's uh, 12 sales to get my money back. And then Steam takes 30% cut. So, I don't know, 30% more of 12 is 3.6. So I need to, sell, I need to sell a skin 16 times to get my money back, which is not that hard. But again, the skin has to look good. Like, this one's decent. But obviously it doesn't have a triple A, you know, detail to it, but still very good. You know, this one is really good. The problem is, again, I don't think he does colors. He actually just does the sculpting, which is kind of problematic. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to just open up. I want to leave Fiverr open up so I can fix this. These Brave ads are kind of annoying. I worked on Sudeki, Xbox, and Pioneer's Time Force for PS1. Oh, hey, William Wallace. I didn't even see your thing. Yeah, I do know about Mixamo, so I am hoping that I'll just simply use Mixamo. But usually, uh, all these character models, they already charge so much that they usually include the, the, um, the character rigging for me anyway. 
Maximo Epic Games Skeleton. There should be an option for that. sale. Well, shit. How about you? Is there that helps you try for a general? If you get a lot of you to use any of their use any of the addition makes it possible for a Yeah, I mean, I need, I need something that Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to tell the guy that makes it, or uh, if I get only the FBX character model, I have to I have to hire a character rig animator and tell him or her to actually create the Epic Games skeleton. All right, well, uh, I'm curious. How do you feel about the 100K strike December 31st column Bitcoin? I've seen a lot of open interest on that one. Yeah, I used to have that. Uh, contract a long time ago and then it's lost a lot of money because obviously Bitcoin's taking forever to go up there. But if it's reasonably cheap you could probably do that. But I already have a, I already have call options out into June two thousand twenty two because we're gonna need more time. But I mean if it's limited financial risk, I mean it's probably okay to take the hundred K December thirty first. But again, you don't really have that many much time. But again, we're just waiting on things to pop off. Oh, and smiley face. Yeah. Yeah, this video is January 5th to exkeleton retargeting. I guess I have to actually look at this video. Hello, everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, import animations from Mixamo and how to properly retarget them to work with uh, this uh, Unreal Default mannequin and uh, so the, re the reason to do this episode is because I have already covered this topic in a previous project. Oh okay, so apparently this video does do what I wanted to do. Okay, I guess I'll just have to watch this to... I guess I'll actually watch this in my spare time. And I got so much shit to do. Alright, so speaking of which, I better actually go. So tomorrow is what, Wednesday? No, Thursday. Alright, so tomorrow will be the last stream for the week. And then I got a lot of work to do, so. Oh yeah, of course my stupid mighty party was riding away, no doubt. So I'll see you all tomorrow. And I mean, I don't see any more questions, or at least the ones I didn't miss. Yeah, so for now. You know, we'll just keep buying. Uh, yeah, I mean, I still think I still think the options will still be decent for Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin options, that is. But again, you're going to need more time, especially you know, especially because market manipulation is coming. Well, it's always been there, but now that the Bitcoin future ETFs are coming in, yeah, we're going to have some. You know, it's uh, it's a mixed blessing, but I'm kind of just leaning towards it's going to be a negative eventually. You think it's possible that this bull spills deep into quarter one or... Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you probably came in right in the middle. So I already talked about that before. You made me want to watch the replay. But, but yeah, there's a very real possibility of it. And, the, and basically my main determining factor will be these Google Trends here. Because right now it's basically zero. It's just store close. But, yeah, I definitely go back into the stream when I, when I finish and go to Burger King. And then look at what I was saying here. But... <clears throat> Like I said, December 1st, Bitcoin's 250 grand as a hypothetical. I come in on the Google Trends and if I see this, it's like at like 50. I mean that basically that means the bull run's going to go past December 1st by a lot. You know, you you want to sell when this indicator, especially these two indicators, buy Bitcoin and Bitcoin itself, both US and worldwide. Well, it's getting close to 100. That's basically what we want to see. And you can even you can even test it in real life too. Just ask random people that you meet or people that you kind of know. Like you go to a grocery store and just ask them, "Hey, are you buying Bitcoin or do you know about it?" And just see what they say. 
right? You know it's a problem when everyone, like the local grocery guy and your barber, right, owns Bitcoin. Then, they, yeah, you should definitely dump at that point because because normies don't know anything about this stuff and they never will. They just buy whatever the horde is doing. So if the if the normies are doing, you know, nothing, then yeah, that's a bullish sign. When the normies are all in, you know, like lemmings into this thing, then you got to dump. The normie indicator, yeah, well, whatever it's called. That's exactly what it is. Now, there's a risk. That could still fail. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. So we're going to have to play it day by day because I don't really have a good answer for that yet because there's just too much. There's just too much. There's just too much right now. And, like, you know, Jeff, Jeff Lee Pierce is teaching, right? Just don't worry about tomorrow. Just take care of today. Speaking of which, it's time for me to go. I'm not even going to bother changing the whatever title of this stream because we were all over the place. We start with hamburgers and then and then they got sucked into looking for new animators on Fiverr. So anyway, uh, see you all tomorrow after market's close. Thanks for watching. And oh my god, one hour and 11 minutes. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this.